Attaching the system to the pole. Suspend the drainage system from the IV pole using the cord lock. Attach the drainage system to the IV pole by squeezing the pole attachment feature. Priming the system with a flushless external transducer. Strict aseptic techniques should be used during initial setup at all stages of utilization and maintenance and at any time the system must be accessed, changed, or otherwise manipulated in any way that opens the closed system once it is connected to the patient. This is completed prior to attaching tubing to ventricular or lumbar catheter. To set up AccuDrain system, first check that all fittings are tightened. When using an ICP external transducer, remove the red cap on the manifold stopcock, maintaining sterility. Attach the transducer to the manifold stopcock. Follow instructions for use from transducer manufacturer. Orient the burette stopcock to temporarily stop flow into the drainage bag. Attach the 10 mil syringe filled with preservative-free sterile normal saline to the transducer stopcock port and prime the tubing of the patient line to the catheter connection. Reorient the stopcock off to the patient line. Keep the 10 mil syringe attached. Turn the pressure transducer stopcock to open to graduate burette and close to patient line. Prime tubing allowing two to three mils of saline to collect in the graduated burette. Drain two to three mils of saline into the drainage bag. Do not fully drain out tube between burette and drainage bag after priming. This can result in an airlock that delays draining. Remove 10 mil syringe and replace with sterile end cap. Attaching the line level. The line level is attached by inserting the fastener into the circular opening located on the back of the panel at the level of the zero reference point. Once attached, the system can be leveled with the line level by pulling the string taut to the anatomical landmark and aligning the bubble in the viewfinder. Once leveled, the line level can be attached by affixing the black O-ring to the hook located at the top back panel of the system. setting the pressure level, and securing the system. Place the zero reference at the external landmark of the patient as ordered by the physician. Press the white clamp behind the drainage system to move the system up or down the pole. Once the system is level with the patient, tighten the suspension cord over the IV pole so that the suspension cord is taut. Ensure the AccuDrain system is securely attached to the pole by pulling the security straps located on the top and bottom of the panel mount over the IV pole. Increase or decrease the height of the pressure level noted on the graduated burette by manipulating the squeeze lock system to move the burette up or down relative to the patient. When adjusting the height of the drainage system or burette, the stopcock should be off to the patient. Monitoring intracranial pressure. Zero the transducer to atmosphere per your facility's policies and procedures before use. If closed system pressure monitoring and waveforms are desired, the AccuDrain system should be temporarily closed to drainage. Note, reorient stopcock to resume drainage. Collecting and measuring CSF. Accurate determination of fluid accumulation may be accomplished with a graduated burette from 1 mil to 75 mils in 1 mil increments. The burette stopcock should be off to the burette. To drain CSF from the burette into the drainage bag, the stopcock should be off to the sampling site. Ensure stopcock is reoriented to collect CSF in the burette.